So now we're going to take a look at <clears throat> doing subqueries. We created a database, Acme Sales. We change into Acme Sales, so let me go do that. So list out all of my databases, and then change into Acme Sales. And, uh, and then we created a table customers with ID and first, and we inserted values. We created a table items, and, uh, and so we have customers, we have orders, and then we have items here. It's gonna have an item ID and an item. That's one table. So I create that table items and I sent, insert some uh, values into items. And I create a table orders. Uh, I just called it orders down here. Up here I called, oh no, that's, that's orders right there. So I created customers, I created items. I created orders. And orders has an order ID, a customer ID, and an order date. And, uh, and then I insert it into orders you know, that stuff. And then I created order items, and order items is going to have this. So basically, you have a customer, a customer places an order, okay? Customer places an order, There's and I gave it an order ID. And then I have items over here, and then I create order items. And so for each order, each order ID, there can be many items. Do you see that? I didn't draw it, but one order, one order, so one to many. Here's the many. One order can have many order items. So you, you have one order, and there's all these different items on the order, right? It's the way the world works. And so the schema to capture that is I have one order, and there's going to be an order ID. And on each one of those order, I could keep putting entries into order items. Like order, I, order ID 4 had item 3. Order ID 4 had item 2. Order ID 4 like the same order, had item ID 2, 3, 7, 9, all these different items. I just keep hitting those in. So that's, that's kind of the way I created this little thing. I just expanded it. And so I've got customers, items, orders, and order items. And, uh, and uh, that's kind of how it's laid out. Anybody want to look at that schema for a second? Who wants to try to explain that schema? Somebody explain it back. Read me the schema, somebody. How would you read it? So I'll go, I'll go, but then somebody else needs to go. So we have an order system. The order database, the schema for orders is going to be four tables. There'll be customers. Each customer can place an order. So we have a customers table and we have an orders table. One customer can place many orders, right? Each order can have many items on it. So each order can have many order items. And then we have a table items of the items that can be ordered. So between orders and order items, one order can have many order items, and one item can be associated with many order items. All right? That doesn't quite make as much sense when you say it that way. So I should have named this something different. So maybe order details. All right? One item can be, you know, associated with many order detail transactions, all right? But anyhow, so that's it. So one order can have many order items, and then we just connect the items. So one item can be associated with many orders. That's a better way to say it. One item can be associated with many order, order details. So uh, that's how you'd read it back. So we got our tables, and we'll just, let me see how long this one is. Three, that's good. We got our tables, and then we're going to select here we are selecting first from customers, order ID from orders, order date from orders, and then I, item name from items. So we want, we want customer name, first name, and we want order ID, what order do they have, and then what items are associated with that order. What's the item associated with that order? So that's what we're asking for here. Let me put it right next to it. Okay, so we get customer first name, boom, and then we get order ID and order date, boom, boom, from this, and then we get item from this. So to do that, from customers, as C, join orders, so customers joins orders, on customer ID, C, C ID equals order customer ID, and I changed these fields, all right? So I just didn't draw you the picture, and that's making it a little bit confusing for you. But, And then we join order items, 
as OI on OOID, right, which is the order ID, is equal to order item OID. And then we join items as I on order item ID, right, which is this order item ID. Order item ID right there is equal, uh, sorry, order item item ID, that one right here is equal to item item ID. So we join on that. And when we do that, join, it totally helps when I draw it out with the right names, doesn't it? You, you guys are all like, uh, we'll draw it out, we'll put the right names in there. And so then I get my first name, my order ID, my date, and the item that was ordered. So order ID 4 had two items. No, three, had three items. So I could sort by order ID. Did I do that? What's the difference here? Oh, I did full join, full joins, and it showed me uh, things that weren't included. Honey, Homie never ordered anything, and Mango was never ordered. But I could also do order by, and uh, what I want to order by, o.oid. So we could see, you know, order four had those three things. It's kind of cool. So the next thing we want to do is uh, redraw this, and we'll do that next.